Hello, thanks for checking out What's Up at Fun Factory Hobbies. This is theoretically for the week ending Saturday, August 5th, 2023. However, I waited until Monday the 7th to record this because we had a bunch of new stuff come in today and I saw the UPS tracking labels. Uh, so first of all, because we are a Pokemon authorized pre-release store, we're allowed to sell Pokemon Obsidian Flames starting today. We have booster boxes, a whole bunch of them. Uh, Elite Trainer Boxes, Booster Bundles, Individual Boosters, good stuff. Speaking of Pokemon, it's back to school time, and they always put out these nice pencil cases, uh, nice solid tin there, uh, it comes with uh, two Pokemon TCG Booster Packs, and uh, they put out an eraser kit, so it includes two booster packs. So you can see Scarlet and Violet and Paldea Evolved and the Nifty Eraser. All of the erasers that we got are this dude whose name escapes me. But yeah, so we have those. Uh, got a bunch of stuff for Star Wars Legion. Uh, we have the Ahsoka Tano pack. It's been out for a little while, but uh, we just got it. Crashed X-Wing Battlefield expansion. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got uh, the latest set of Harry Potter dice. Uh, this is the Gryffindor modern dice set. Kind of pretty. Uh, we have the Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza Halloween Edition. Fun little card game from Dolphin Hat Games. Uh, I know we sold several copies of the regular... Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza uh, fairly recently, so uh, perhaps you are a collector of that game and want the cool Halloween edition. Uh, back to Legion. I knew there was some more Legion. Uh, infantry support platform. And ATST. Uh, more Pokemon. We have these new tins, uh, lunch boxes, uh, three coil far cards featuring Sprigatito, Fuicoco, and Quaxley, six Pokemon TCG boosters, and much more. Um, from Games Workshop, Warhammer, I'm sorry, War Cry, which is the uh, skirmish version of Warhammer Age of Sigmar, Crypt of Blood starter set. This box contains a 72-page start here book, a double-sided battlefield met, eight fighter cards, two ability cards, 18 dice, a range ruler, of war cry tokens, four crimson court miniatures, eight Xandir's truth seekers miniatures, and some scenery. Uh, I know we've had some people asking about brush on primer. We've had some gray from the army painter, but I managed to track down some white brush on primer, uh, water soluble from Reaper. And so those, that'd be good for you. Uh, contrast slash speed paint folk. And for you regular acrylic folk, also from Reaper, black brush on primer. So we now have those. Um, let's see here. Let's see racers out of the way. Uh, for Power Rangers role playing game, The Phantom Gambit Adventure. This is a small book, paperback. Uh, like a Pathfinder Adventure Path module. Engage space's most dastardly villains. Journey across space to stop Darkonda's Phantom Gambit in this adventure for Power Rangers role playing game. Face off against the vicious bounty hunter and his mistress, Astronema, the Princess of Evil. The Phantom Gambit is for 5th to 6th level Power Rangers as they search for the kidnapped Zordon while Dark Spectre's lieutenants try to stop them at every turn. The team must follow Phantom Ranger's turbulent, excuse me, turbulent trail 
using new space travel mechanics, help rebels from Andros and Zane's homeworld, KO-35, and save a city from a giant-sized foe. And for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, Rage of Elements in pocket-sized and regular hardback. We also got it in a special edition, but it's already been claimed. Uh, so, Elemental Rules include, introduces the Kineticist class, gifted with an amazing command over the elements. New spells and items with, within also provide elemental magic options for all characters. Explore the majestic elemental planes, including new, two new ones, the wondrous decaying plane of metal and the vast orderly force of the plane of wood. On top of all this comes a horde of new monsters from all six elemental planes ready to battle adventurers or be summoned by them. Step through a portal to adventure and harness the primordial power of nature with Rage of Elements. Uh, let's see, we also received... Uh, we've been selling Mysterium a decent amount lately. Here we have Mysterium Kids, a obviously younger, slightly simpler version of Mysterium. Captain Echo's Treasure. One player becomes the ghost. They must help the others guess the card in room three. The ghost player uses the tambourine to imitate the sound of a hammer. This ghostly noise is the only clue that the other players have to help them choose the correct card and discover one of the captain's treasures. So fun stuff. And then we've had these for a while, but I keep forgetting to show them because I've left the box closed. We have wave two of the Frameworks miniatures from WizKids. Uh, with wave two, got some pretty cool models here. Um, they've included a bunch of extra options, so the sprues are even more packed than they were with wave one. And so basically much more value in each box. So for example, the cobalt box in wave one was like seven cobalts. This goblin box is 18. Same money. Definitely better value. Uh, they heard your cry and answered. All right, so we've got goblins, rocks. There's three in this box. Fire giant, only one, because, you know, giant. Uh, halfling rogue. Goliath Barbarian, Medusa, Half Elf Ranger, Gargoyle 2 pack. I already showed you the troll. And Pathfinder, Female Elf Rogue, Male Human Wizard. So these are not like the right, already primed, ready to paint $5 minis packs. These are model kits that you assemble. Uh, a little pricier, but much more detailed, not primed, not ready to go. Um, but you can way better customize this versus what uh, you would have normally. Uh, also, uh, released this past Friday, we have Magic Commander Masters. We have that in stock, too. We have set boosters, we have draft boosters, we have collector boosters, and we still have most of the... Commander Master decks. Sliver Swarm. Enduring Enchantments. And Planeswalker Party. Speaking of Magic the Gathering, we have uh, upcoming organized play events. So coming this Friday, the 11th, Friday Night Magic Casual at 6 p.m. Saturday, the 12th, uh, 2 p.m., we have our Pokemon League at 6 p.m. We have Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings Championship. A sealed event. Uh, Friday the 18th, Casual Commander. Saturday the 19th at 11 a.m., our monthly Pokemon League Challenge. More competitive tournament. And 2 p.m. League and 6 p.m. Battletech. Uh, Friday the 25th, Friday Night Magical Casual Commander. And uh, at 2 p.m. Saturday the 26th, Pokemon League. And 4th Saturday is also 40K at 6 p.m. And then we've got, coming in September, uh, Wilds of Eldraine pre-release on Friday, September 1st, and Saturday, September 2nd. Friday at 6 p.m., Saturday at 11 a.m., Pokemon League at 2 p.m. Um, that would be um, Bright Sword at 6 p.m. We will be closed September 7th, 8th, and 9th. So note that in your calendar. That's the next month's worth of stuff. As always, thanks for checking out What's Up.
if you found the content useful. Like, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.